Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you how you can use code templates within the IDE Eclipse. Especially for ABAP developers, this feature is so useful and it can improve your daily work while ABAP program. So enjoy this video and let's get started. So here we are in Eclipse. I have already created a demo program called set underscore ABAP underscore templates to show you code templates within Eclipse. And basically you have two possibilities to reach the section where you can maintain code templates. So first of all, I would like to show you how you can create, edit, delete code templates within Eclipse. Um, the first option you can reach code templates is under the menu function window and then preferences. And then here you have to follow the path ABAP development, then editors, then source code editors and then here you are at ABAP templates. And here you can see already the, the created templates and if you click on one, then down here under preview, you will see what basically is the content of this template. So uh, what will be used if you, or what will be um, input into your editor in Eclipse. If you're using the code template and you can see those and yeah, this is kind of like useful to have a small preview. If you would like to edit one of those, so for example, uh, the block, then you can just select one and then you click on edit. And here you can uh, make some changes and then you can just simply click on OK. Of course, you have to click on apply to uh, apply your changes. But that's basically all how you can edit existing templates. If you would like to create a new code template, um, then you have to click on the button new. Then first of all, you have to enter a name that will be used to call the template. So to insert the pattern that we will create. So in this case, um, just for demo purpose, I call it, for example, uh, yeah, whatever, ERP underscore up. Under description, a small description, um, basically also will be shown within the pop-up. We will see in a couple of seconds, but just a test ABAP template within Eclipse, whatever you like to. Then within pattern, here is the important part because within pattern, here you will um, enter and maintain the content of the code template. So that will be used if you're using the code template in your editor. And maybe I would just like to um, do a comment block. So this is a nice um, feature in my case. Um, so here, comment, whatever you like to. And then if you, I will just like to show you this. Uh, I will show you more, of course, but just a pure, simple code template. So then you have created it and then you click on OK once again on apply, apply and close. And then you have successfully created it and can use it. And how can you use it? Simply type in the name of the code template or maybe a part of the name of the code template. So for example, ERP underscore up and then control space. You have to use the code completion, so control space. And here you can see just one entry and with your enter key, uh, or maybe if there are multiple entries with your arrow keys, you can select this. And here you can see the ID, so the name of the code template, your description, and here also the patterns or the comments um, of, of this um, of this code template and with enter key, I will insert it and you have then successfully um, called the code template. Um, in order to make changes and to more show you more functionalities of code templates, I would like to show you the second option, how you can basically um, call your code template. So that is within the quick view the quick access and to do this here you have to click on on this icon and then just simply uh, type in template 
and here you can see um, yeah it's my previous choice but here you have to choose templates in general and then within here you can see that um, your uh, templates quick view has been has been added and here we can also do exactly the same so you can scroll down and for example if we would like to make changes to our erp app then you can select it and then you have uh, the here the option to edit the template if you would like to you can also within here create a new template just click on this then you are in here and can do exactly the same as you saw earlier um, you can also uh, insert it into a new into the editor so you don't have to type it so for example within here just select it and then insert into editor this is also how you can call a code template but we would like to show you more functionality so that is with the, the edit the template and here you can make some changes of course you can change the name the description whatever you like to but what i kind of like um, thing is useful is to use variables and this is um, or you can use variables with dollar sign and then with curly brackets so with an open and a closing curly bracket and then within here for example description whatever you like to and then okay so what happens now if we're, if we're using um, our um, code template so then here you can see that basically the variable um, has been selected, has been marked and yet you can override it. So comment, uh, please subscribe this YouTube channel if you not have done this yet. <laughs> Thank you so much. So this is how you can um, use variables and there are a lot more. So if we, for example, go once again into the edit here, you can have or see this nice button insert a variable and if you click on this then you will see the built-in variables that you can use and have also a nice description how this works so cursor the cursor position after editing template variables the date um, for example if you just would like to use a dollar sign in closing object the package the system id the time the user whatever you like to and for example if we um, are using the user then you can see that let's put it into the comment itself then you can see once again with dollar sign with uh, curly brackets um, you are basically using this variable and once again with okay and doing in once again maybe here with this functionalities you can see that i am using the our platform try 1909 with the developer user and i have also made a um a code template with all vari variables so here all have been input so all variables so let's see them here i'm um, using them with some comments kind of like easy and this can improve your daily work as an abap developer enormously and once again control space is how you can um, all uh, open them up and then with your arrow keys you can choose whatever you like to you have a lot of more um, code that can be used of course not only code templates um, but here once again um, maybe uh, whatever you like to all variables enter and then you are there so it can be so easy and i recommend to use code templates within eclipse if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section and please subscribe to this youtube channel to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and then see you in the next video